Air France KLM CEO Jean Marc Anelic said on Friday he would resign after staff rejected a pay deal, plunging the airline into turmoil amid a wave of strikes at its French brand that has cost the company some 159 million million. Anelic said that more than half of the staff. At Air France, who cast a ballot voted have it the offer of a 7% increase over for you. Turnout was high at 80.33%. I take responsibility for the consequences of this vote and will, in the coming days, tender my resignation to the boss of Air France and Air France KLM. Yuan Nayak told a news conference. I hope. That my departure will spark a more acute collective awareness," he added. Uni announced they would maintain their strike action on May 7th and May 8. Air France KLM earlier on Friday reigned in its 2018 profit and growth expectation, partly due to the effects of the strikes, and said it was not able to take advantage of a good market environment for European carry. Air France needs to cut costs to keep up with leaner rivals in Europe. Dutch sister company KLM, which has cut costs, saw its profits rise in the fifth quarter, contrasting sharply with losses at Air France. Flag carrying rivals British Airways admitted to have already undergone painful cost cutting in recent years. As they battled to compete with the rise of low-cost carry in Europe, a new competition from Gulf Carry Air France has lagged behind, with Unilever dampering efforts in a high-stakes move. Yandelik said before the vote that it would be hard for him to stay in the role if the Unilever pushed back at it the salary hike offer he was backed by the French government. Air France KLM is top shareholder, which has said the dispute is damaging the company. There was no immediate reaction by the French presidency or finance ministry. Yuan Nelik was appointed CEO of Air France KLM in June 2016 after his predecessor failed to reform the airline in the face of union resistance. Liberal analyst Gerald Ku said ahead of the vote result. That a rejection of the offer would suggest that Air France was incapable of being reformed, losing two collaborative CEOs who have taken significantly different approaches to the union would imply the business is unmanageable. Who 